Hello and welcome to the second part of my Hydrant tutorial. Sorry that it took a little longer this time, but I was a little busy. But in future I promise I will try to make a tutorial, at least one tutorial a week. Hope it works. <laughs> okay, so now we continue with this side caps here. Good, for this we just hide our hydrant for a moment and hide everything with, with our hydrants. So let's see, this is the head, whatever. And you go in here too. So, and let's start with a oil tank. Yeah, I think it's okay. And with the size, let's have a look again. For the size we need for the oil tank, we need. Dun 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 dun. Let's see for six. It doesn't matter which one. Scale it down a little bit. So. Just to see how big we need it. Yeah, here we are. We can change of the size, of course, later too, but... Uh, yeah, okay, like this. So, and hide it again. The height of the cap... Let's see... Let's have a look how big... Fifteen, I think it's okay. Yeah, let's see. Uh, Fourteen. Okay. And the subdivisions are okay too. Yeah. Yeah, it is okay. Good. So then we convert it into a polygon object. So press C on your keyboard. Then go in the point mode and we delete points we don't need. So rectangle selection and only select visible elements unchecked and whoop, whoop, deleted. Good. Now I just do it by eye, so I eyeball it, I think it's the right. Okay, so UL for a loop selection, then E for an extrusion, E and hold your uh, control key and drag it down. Okay, T and control key and drag it up. Oh no, that's without the control key, just make it like this, yeah. E, control key, Zack. Again, control key, T to make it a little smaller. Then E, control key, this, and T, make it a little smaller too. Okay, that's the first thing. Then we delete another points. Let's see. From here to here. Okay. Okay. Then here. Edge selection UL for loop. And again, E, control key, put one out, so, T, control key, and again, E, control, and T, control. So, like this, about. 
Now we have this one and it looks should look like this here. I think it's okay. Yeah. Okay. Now we make some barrels. Yeah, make some barrels. So loop selection here. Hold your shift key to add selection here, here and here. MS on the keyboard for barrel. And about this here. Yeah, it should be enough. Okay. And here we bevel to with UL. Here and here a little bit. And maybe here. Oh, why not? MS. That's, uh, okay. Now we need our polygon selection front and select here two here two one two here 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 boom boom. Okay. Good. Now we make an inner extrude, so press I on your keyboard and just extrude it a little inner. Then D for extrude and again extrude it a little down. Okay. And now if we put this everything in a subdivision surface, so just hold Alt on your keyboard, select the oil tank, hold Alt on your keyboard and press the subdivision surface, and we get this one. And it really looks like this one. <laughs> okay. So now, Let's unhide our hydrant. Then we need a cloner, a MoGraph cloner. Put in your, let's say, side caps, side cap, and this is side caps. So it so side caps then we need a radial exit and here I transform with oh that's the wrong one the wrong one too of course but must be the last one minus 90 degrees and we have too many of them so let's go back to our cloner four is enough and with the radius make it bigger and now let's see how we look okay go on the front view so we see we have to be a little higher so and this then the radius is too big back to your cloner and go to the radius you see okay and now we see we need our oil tank a little bigger so press T on your keyboard and make it bigger so that it fits here yeah Okay. 
Okay. Good. Now I want to be able here too, so I have a nice uh, where they come together. Hide our hydrant. So, so. Edge selection, UL loop selection. And here we make with T on the keyboard, control key and just a little, you know, so we have this edge here to bevel. So another loop selection, UL, MS for beveling. So like this should be okay. Let's see how it looks with our hydrant. Okay. So next thing is I see here we have this these arms so that is these tubes here and they are a little too long compared to our original you see. But that should be no problem. Let's hide our side caps. Go to our hydrant. Go to our connect. So. Now we have to select points here with the rectangle selection. Select visible elements unchecked. Take this ones and shift key this ones. T on your keyboard for extrusion. So let's see from the side view. And so just spread you know and hold your shift key so you are have increments of ten. So I think this should be okay with ninety percent or maybe so. Uh, let's try with 80%, okay. Same we do here with the other two. Arms or whatever this is, tubes. One, two. T on your keyboard and shift key to 80. So, yeah, that looks better. Of course, now we have to make it. Go to our side caps. And now we have to make the radius of the cloner smaller. Let's have a look. So, so much. If you want with with these small errors, if you want uh, smaller uh, changes, just hold your Alt key on your keyboard. And now you see you have point one. So, oh, come on. Okay. Yeah, that looks. Yes. Good. And now, ah, we need to know some nuts here. You can take this one here, I think. So go here, copy it. So hold your uh, control key on your keyboard and just drag it out here. So we have a copy of it. Then, uh, yeah, let's make a cloner. So come on. Cloner. Put the nut in and radial four. You see it here, we have it. And let's hide our hydrant for a moment. This view was going on. 
we need here exit and transformation of course again the wrong right direction so minus 90 okay now we need radius bigger like this put this thing higher so here in the middle so okay mm -hmm. yeah that it should be Okay, now we have our hydrant ready to texture. Huh, let's save this thing. Okay, so now, yeah, as I said, let's texture this thing. For the hydrant, we just need yellow, so that's not so heavy. Go here in the texture menu here go to new material or just do double click here and you have a new material good here we take a simple yellow color uh, come on okay Reflectance, we play later with the reflectance. Or, why not? Let it make now. Bye bye. I want not wrong, I want the GGX here. Then we don't need this, we don't need this, we need just a bit reflection and. 15 here and an conductor okay so we take iron okay this we put on our hydrant so on the nut on the head so if you uh, hold your control key on your keyboard and drag this texture you can copy it just to the next one copy it here copy it to the hydrant copy it to the ring copy it to the nuts here and to the cylinder and of course to our side caps and our nuts here. Side nuts. Okay, okay. Put this two in our hydrant. Come on. Okay. So far, so good. But for the side caps, I wanted a little. I don't make it. You see, I have it here, so here yellow, and here the yellow gets a little brighter. So, this we will do as well, but now let's let's light this thing, and so we can see our reflections and everything, and then we make our uh, displacements here. So, for the lighting, I just would say we make a simple in infinite floor like this. So, for the infinite floor, we need a floor. Then we need a background. And we need a sky. So, it's, it's Alt-G to group it. Floor. So this whole, uh, this floor we need of course not so high, we need it. Oops. Not 
here. Okay. That's okay. Then. Uh, <coughs> sorry. Then on the floor we need a compositing deck with compositing background. And for the sky, we take compositing deck. You can copy this one. Control key and drag it up. So, and just see the camera off. Good, the next thing is we need a, a texture for the floor and the background. This is uh, the same texture. So, let's see, here's the hydrant. Okay, then I copy this one with the control key, you know it, <laughs> meanwhile. So, this is the floor. Here we don't need reflectance at the moment. For the color, I take a gradient. So, we have a nice uh, vignette effect. A gradient with radial and not radial circular. Then invert these knots, right click here and invert knots and this little light then like this. Okay. Yeah, that's it. This we give on the floor and we need here a frontal mapping. So the same texture comes the background. So control key and drag it up. Now we should have a white floor. You see everything white, bright white. And where are my render settings? Ah, this the here are my render settings. Here I am on Verilo and without global illumination. Let's Put global elimination on with 16 here. And let's see what we get then. Okay. This darkness is uh, because we have just the sky. And now we will give uh, our sky a hardier e map. Yeah. So, if you go into your content browser, you have some HDIEs from Maxon. Uh, just this is in we Visualize huh? Presets. Wait, wait, wait. Visualize Presets Light Setups HDIE. And there you have some HDIEs. I want to view this icon. So. I take this one. Okay, it's at first we need a new material, sky. Here we just need the luminance channel. And drag this HDRE directly into the luminance channel in the texture slot here. Okay, and now this texture we put directly on our sky. What we get now is something like this. I think it looks quite nice so far. But of course we are not ready now. Again to my render settings. And try it with a light mapping too. We should get better results. Yeah. Okay. And here, physically, yeah, we let it's okay for the moment, it's okay. Maybe go to here to do, to do, to do, so. <coughs> okay. So let's continue. We continue with uh, 
with this gradient we went on from a darker to a lighter yellow. So let's copy this texture, call it side caps, and here we need a gradient. A gradient from uh, yellow. We can take this yellow here. It's fifty hundred seventy nine. Okay. Fifty hundred seventy nine. Do a lighter version of this. So, if you hold your control key and drag it, you see you double your knot here. And this one we make just a little brighter. Okay, and here we need a 3D linear light, a gradient. Okay, let's hide for a moment. The hydrant and just let the side caps be so the side caps green and the hydrant red. And uh, this, uh, this one, so we can see better what we do here. And this side cap, we just drag this texture, we just drag over this texture here, so we exchange it. Thin. And here we need a cylindrical mapping. Here cylindrical. Then right click on your texture and say fit to object. Yeah. And now click on the texture with side caps and on this symbol here. Now we need it on the oil tank. Now we see the texturing and it's wrong. So R for rotation and rotate it 90 degrees. And then again we go here and say fit to object. Yes. And let's see what we have now. Not really something else. Here it's okay, let's look at Okay, so it it's not easy if you have another layout. <laughs> So let's wait. Uh, let's the sky material. We we disable the sky material for a moment. I do it. Uh, just go in the material and in the selection. Uh, put in something what doesn't exist. So it's okay. And the light mapping we can disable too. No. Oh, do I? Oh, come on. Maybe so. Why does it. Without reflectance, then we see it. Yeah. But it's not just what I want. Let's go here. Yeah. Ah, it's wrong in word knots. Yeah. Now it comes. You see here we are have a darker yellow and here we have a lighter yellow. I will see it then in the lighting with the normal lighting better. Uh, can put. Yeah. 
die Attacke entleite. We can make it extreme so that we see what we do. Make it here. Bright white. And here. Whatever. Black. Yeah, now I see exactly where you are. Okay. Then here we take our yellow back. Oops, was, was 50, 179, what was. And here. Okay, there, there you can play later, that's no problem. It's okay for the moment. <coughs> Sorry. So, let's unhide our hydrant. Everything is here. Okay, okay, okay. Let's render this guy. Okay. Now I want some reflectance here. And it's okay. Here, same is too reflective, I think. Twenty-five. Yeah, this looks better. Okay. <clears throat> now we come to our displacement here. So the hydrant we disable our substitution surface and make some selections. UL for loop selection, so I can select this one and hold your shift key, this one and uh, let's, uh, let's hide this texture for a moment you see it's nice with <laughs> just press one and you have it looks better uh, look doesn't look better but easier to work so hold your shift and this ones this ones this and this and now we save our selection I have here the, the shortcut as also a symbol set selection but you can do it over mesh I think or no selection select here and here set selection I do it here set selection then we have here our selection deck. Then we make we do this here. Then we make a, just a displacement texture. So make a new texture. Displacement. Display. Okay. Don't need color. We don't need reflectance. We just need displacement. Here we need a surface and a checkerboard. Frequently we and here around 30. And we have these stripes. Okay, subdivision we need. I don't know how many, but here, but we will see it around geometry, yes. Add intensity, we need just intensity. And here we we'll start with minus one, minus so. Okay, just let's test it. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, so the dis dis displacement texture comes here as well. Okay. 
then we need this selection tag and drag it into the selection here. Now you see we've just this selected. Delete here this one, so we have this yellow. And here what we need is mix textures. Now we'll see what we get. I think we need the cylindrical mapping, but let's test it what we get. <laughs> okay. Good. <laughs> Looks funny. Good, so let's make it with a cylindrical texture. So cylindrical and here again. We go another texture and here texture tag and fit to object. Good. Uh, now let's see what we get now. Looks a little better, but I see we have here. Problem to do goes in the wrong direction. Yeah, now it goes in the right direction, and you know, it's t this whole thing is dark. So let's make it brighter for a moment. So go to our sky texture. Luminance and go here, let's say 200. And have a look if it's better. Still so dark. So go in the radar settings, global illumination, light mapping. Here, okay. Let's see what we get. Okay. And we have to fix the color here on the side caps too, I think. Don't know why they have another color now. 85. Oh, that's <laughs> it. Okay. But now we see we have a problem here. We have uh, and let's make it a little better to see like physically and adaptive. Go to 30 about. Needs maybe a little longer to render, but we see what we get. We can make a render region here. <coughs> and it needs too long to render. Go to fizzing. Let's have a look now. You see, we have a very ugly edges here that we don't want. So let's go to our displacement and try it with a higher subdivision here. Let's say 6. Yeah, that looks much better. 
Uh, but here, don't like it like this. And there we can try it with uh, just blur it a little bit. Try it with 10. Okay, that was too much, I think. <laughs> I'll try it with 3. Yeah. Yeah, that's okay. It doesn't have to be exactly straight, so no, no, no hydrant and no iron is exactly clear straight. But I think they are a little too far. Let's try to give it here. That's no, which 50 50 is okay. So they should be more narrow together. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. That's fine. Okay, and the next thing I don't like is this this big rounding here. So so the, the displacement should go until here maybe, and not stop here. And so how can we fix this? This let's have a look. First, we just take this one, come on, this one, make it one, <coughs> this, make it one, okay, then, hydrants, uh, yeah, we just, we make a cut here under this, so here and here that should be fine then so we take our knife tool K make plane and one cut is okay here okay restricted to selection is off it's okay here we have to go Okay, let's see. About here. And about here. Okay. And now it should work. You see, we don't have this wrist, these rings. Uh, so, back here. Delete this. Go back to this, take the polygon selection in, and now we render this guy. <coughs> Let's have a look. Yeah, now you see it goes up here, and we don't have this big round. Okay. And now we have to just this brighter cap here with darker yellow behind and brighter yellow here. Okay. Good so far. And now it's too dark, the whole thing is too dark. Okay. We need our light mapping, of course. So, animation, light mapping. Okay. Then here we go to luminance and make it 300. See if we see a difference. Oh, 
Oh, yes. Looks almost better than the original file. <laughs> So, okay, but now we can play with the reflectance, but here you can do it however you want, so that it's, it's on you, how you like it. So, and, but it was a little, maybe a little too dark. We could do here an illumination and double the illumination. 200, but I think then it's, let's see what we get, Oof. <coughs> yeah, well. Okay, I will stop for a moment and make a better render, so we see the result with a better render. So, okay, here is our result after 3.30. Okay, with team render. But uh, I think we can be quite satisfied with this one. And how I did the rust, what you see here. Uh, for this I have already a tutorial. This is uh, how to paint with vertex maps. I give the link in the description so you see it. And then you can play painting your rust on it and then everything. And you get a nice result. I hope you liked it. And I really like this one. It looks nice and clear and everything is okay on its place on its place. <laughs> okay, so I would say thanks for watching and yeah what I've seen uh, here, on, uh, you see here in the background you see the horizon. Normally it should be a, a, a infinite flow up but this is about uh, from the HDI map. So if you want the easy way to light this. I will show you very fast. A easy, easy way to light this is uh, I really can recommend uh, first a toolbox. So from Mario uh, this is uh, let's see I have toolbox here somewhere. Let's see. Yeah here. Just double click it. Here is the toolbox from Mario. And this one, right? Uh, okay, now. So to just put something in here, he, he gave uh, already materials, very fast rendering materials with it. And here is <coughs> everything. <coughs> sorry. And, uh, oops, so, sorry. The placeholder here, you can, of course, hide it. The infinite floor has uh, user data. Here you can play with the colors with the hue, with the lightness, or with the desideration, you see you can change the colors, you can change the lightness, you can change the hue, that you don't see it now, of course. Here, with the hue, you can change everything. And uh, so let's make just a cube first, and easy. You have a cube, put a material in it, render it, and you are done, you see have everything what you need. So I put the, 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 in the description a link for it, for this toolbox. So I really recommend it. it is, and if you think, okay, I have enough money, I want to buy something, then let's, then I would recommend the GSG light kit that they had their e-studio. With this one, you get a very, very, very big thing. So, 
you see here the user data what you can do everything you can you can give your HDRE map you can brightness rate it blah 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 you have a preview so you, you can you see where is your thing you can rotate it of course the preview <laughs> comes not in the render and you can here with the floor you can play you can uh, change the floor color you can say yes i want floor or i want no floor and i will give you this uh, link for these two in the description yeah and that's it so far hope you liked it i hope it helped you and we will see us in the next tutorial and as i said i try to make uh, at least one tutorial a week but uh, at the moment i was a really busy a little busy not really busy okay busy birthday parties and something <laughs> Okay, so I wish you a nice day, nice evening, nice morning, whatever, and so hope you see to see you again. So bye bye and greetings from Vienna. <laughs>